everybody. This is my maragas. And guess what I'm making today? I'm making salsa pico de gallo. The famous pico de gallo that I remember making it from scratch that a friend of mine many, many years ago, actually a Jewish guy showed me how it's done. Well, let me continue on. Let me leave these balls on the side. First, we're gonna give you the, uh, the ingredients. You can come a little closer, please. Uh, we have, uh, we're gonna use one Spanish onion. Um, tomato, I'm gonna use maybe uh, two, two tomatoes, it depends the size. You can use plum tomatoes if you like. A lime, you're gonna need a lime juice. And uh, also, these are jalapeno peppers. Uh, these are, yes, they're spicy, but I think the serranos are a little more spicy. These are the serrano um, 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 peppers, you would say. And uh, for, for right now, um, what I'm gonna do, since everybody should be an expert by now on cutting these things into cubes, I already did this for you. So we have here one Spanish onion, all diced up. This is how you dice it, you cut them into pieces. And, and normally, there's different ways of doing it, but I like doing the old, my old fashioned way. Okay, my, my hands are washed, everything's good. This is a secret recipe. And I, I, I've only been giving this to a few people, but now it's gonna go, like I said, from my house to your house. We're gonna be celebrating, or not we, us as Americans, we're gonna be celebrating Cinco de Mayo this week. So this salsa will come in good, especially now that we're home. Okay, so this is what we got. We, we got the, um, the uh, onions, okay? It's very simple, you, uh, you cut the, the jalapeno or the serrano into into little slices I'm not gonna do it but when you do it you cut it and it's gonna come in just like this dice up really fine and, and and for sure after you dice the jalapeno or any of these hot peppers what you do is with the same lime that you're gonna be using you wash your hands right after you cut it and then you go into the sink you wash it thoroughly with um, with some uh, uh, dishwashing soap in, in warm water, and you get all that all the uh, acidity or the hotness of your of your um, out of your hands. Okay, now we're gonna go ahead closer, closer. I'm gonna add the jalapeno. I'm gonna add a little pinch of salt, maybe a couple more. I would say maybe like a, a tablespoon, roughly. Then, this is a very process that I have and it's been working for me. Then here, this is where you squeeze your, your lime juice into the uh, onion mix in the jalapeno. You squeeze the lime and you let this soak in for a little bit, you know, once once you do this, you could you could go to go ahead and start dicing up your your tomatoes. But since the video it's um, I don't want I don't want to be you know bored with this uh, and dice it up all the time. It's going to take too long, and I know a lot of people have other things to do. But anyways, after you 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 um you squeeze the lime, the hello the, uh, the the serrano, you mix this thoroughly. Okay, you let it sit there for a little bit, and then you go ahead and you add your tomatoes. Tomatoes, same thing, you diced up, put them in there. Okay. Again, you go ahead and give it a little mix. You keep going. Okay. This is uh, starting to look somewhat together again with you know after you dice up the uh, serrano or any other hot pepper what you do is your hand rub your lime against your fingers and then you go ahead and wash it up okay I'm gonna add some pepper black pepper two pinches of that I like to add another trick of mine is ketchup you're gonna have you know a little bitterness, a little spicy. Uh, the onions is very it's sweet because it's a Spanish sweet onion. And now we're gonna mix up the flavors 
uh, I would say this is about three or four tablespoons of ketchup. This is my secret recipe that I'm, I'm giving to you with a lot of love, okay? So now we have a tomato sauce. You can get this a Goya around the Northeast. We get this Goya tomato sauce and you also put it on there or any tomato sauce from any brand will good. This, this is about eight ounces. I'm gonna go ahead and add, also add the recipe on the bottom of the screen. And by the way, I hope you, you guys put a nice like to it or, or subscribe to my videos. So this is uh, my, I think it's my third video. Okay. Look at it, how it, see how it is. See how it's starting to look? Looking very, very nice. Okay. Gonna add a little more salt, another pinch of salt. I didn't taste it yet, but I know it needs it because there's a lot of uh, vegetables here. Now, what I'm going to do is going to use my the best, which one did I wash? <laughs> the, uh, uh, some cilantro, okay? This one I'm going to show you. Cilantro. I'm going to dice the cilantro, the same thing. Very fine. Also, so be careful with your fingers. You gotta use a sharp knife. Okay. Normally, I don't show you because I know my audience are very, very good in the kitchen. Okay. Now, since I don't have any you know, the, the thicker saw that I use, I'm gonna go ahead and give you one of these, okay? You ready? Get closer. Okay, one more, one more. So for the ones that didn't catch that, this is cilantro. The aroma is so good. I love cilantro. Once you go ahead and put this the uh, cilantro into it, you mix it up again. I'm going to show you. See how it's, it's, it's everything, all the flavors are coming out and mixing each other. Okay. You could tell, I mean, I could smell the aroma, the sweetness of the onions, uh, uh, the ketchup, the uh, sauce. Ah. It smells so good. I wish you could be here and smell this. Now I'm gonna. What I'm gonna do is gonna serve it. Again, like, like I always say, presentation is a must. So here we go. Okay, serve it. Gonna add a little touch of this here, a little more cilantro on the top, just for, just for the photo. Okay, then I'm gonna go ahead and add some of the chips. The chips that I like to use, it has very, not too much sodium, which is good for your health, not too much. You place it, all the chips around. I'm gonna try it, just hang in there. This recipe, like I said, um, it's from a, a good friend of mine. Uh, he's already retired. I, I hope he's doing good. Name was, his name is Mike. Maybe you'll see me. I've been doing this, bringing to work this recipe and it kind of made my own little touches, little uniqueness to this. And voila. So I'm gonna go ahead and try it. Huh. I'm gonna use from here. Oh, delicious. It's very delicious. Oh, I'm glad I could share this with you. Thank you very much. A little 
Bloody Mary that I've been drinking, just in case. This seems a little spicy, but it's okay. Again, taste it if it's a little too spicy, you know, don't add the seeds if you can handle it. If not, go ahead and use the seeds. Use the jalapeno, use the serrano. You could use one or two, it all depends how much you could handle the spiciness. Me, only one is good and it's very delicious. I'm glad I'm here for you. A la salud. I love you. Thank you, thank you very much to all my fans, to all my friends, all my family. I really like making this for you and I hope you enjoy it. Woody, this was for you too, brother. For everybody that wanted this video made, I'm making it for you. Okay? Look at it. All this stuff here, it's all for you guys. I hope you enjoy it and please let me know if, 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 if it does work for you. Okay? You can spice it up as much as you want. It's salsa pico de gallo, Salazar style. Woo!